These are the top 10 Christmas gifts every angler wants for Christmas this year. If you wanted to get a general idea on a good Christmas present for your favorite angler, look no further. Here I've compiled a list of the top 10 the most wanted fishing gifts everyone wants, regardless of gender. I have listed something for everyone in just about every price range from economical to bourgeoisie. But before we continue, if you want to be elite all year round, you want to catch trophy fish everywhere you go, please. Click on the subscribe button and hit that bell notification for some of the crispiest fishing videos out here. Number 10. Knives. Every fisherman wants a knife, especially if you're a bait guy. It's hard finding a quality knife at a good price. Many bait knives that are sold are pretty cheap, they break fast, they lose the edge really fast, and they rust quickly, especially in salt water. Plus, we tend to lose them. When out fishing, I've seen a lot of people cutting bait with other stuff. Kitchen knives, butter knives. I've seen people chop bait with cleavers. That's crazy. Don't let your favorite anchor look like a fool. Get them a decent knife. I really like the Camelus 9.5 inch titanium bonded knife. It retains its edge pretty well. It can cut through most stuff pretty easily and the best part it's only $13 at Walmart. This is the only knife I like to use. I've been using one for around a little over a year. This knife makes a great stocking stuffer as well. If you get this knife, get it from Walmart. If you go to the Camelus website, I think it's like double the price. Number 9. Headlamp. Another great gift idea is a nice headlamp. I will start off by saying, do not get those cheap headlamps to state that they are 2000 lumens turbo lights that are made by some weird company that you've never heard of. Sure, the price is great, the marketing is good, but the quality is inferior. Nothing more embarrassing than giving somebody a malfunctioning gift within a month. I like the Black Diamond Storm 400. I have had one for about two years and it's never let me down. But one of my favorite things about it is that it is waterproof and dustproof, IPX67 I think. And it's also just the right amount of brightness at 400 lumens. It retains its power very well unlike many other companies. You can get a headlamp for around 30 bucks online. This is going to be the Black Diamond Storm 400. Number 8. Fishing Pliers. Pliers are one of the most important tools an angler can have regardless of modality. A nice set of pliers can go a long way in regards to usefulness and being a total elitist and flossing out a nice set of $300 titanium pliers. A nice set of titanium pliers for Christmas is a gift that every angler wants. I recommend the Danko 7.5 inch premium pliers. Their price is just right, a high quality set of pliers. If you really want to impress though, and you have the money to spend, you might as well go all out and go for the 7 inch titanium van style pliers. This it is a true status symbol. You're going to make everybody mad carrying out this high quality set of pliers. Some of you might say, oh that's ridiculous, they're too expensive. I don't need them. But I bet you you wouldn't turn them down if somebody got them for you. Number 7. Knot Pooler. This tool here is a must have. Tying knots is one of the most important aspects of fishing. Tying the knot is half the battle. The second half is adding enough tension to tighten the knot. Many of us wrap the line around our hands or arms to cinch down the knots, but man, it's painful. You know, actually, on the side of my fingers, I don't even have a feeling there because so many times that I wrap the line on my pinky and thumb. That's where the knot puller comes in. I like the accurate knot puller. Their products are high quality. At the price of 30 bucks, that ain't bad at all. There are several others out there, but I think that the accurate knot puller seems to be the better one. Number six, fish grips. Fish grips make a great gift. Fish grips are a very convenient tool to help you land your next fish, especially if you're kayak fishing. Many fish grips now come with a built-in scale as well. I've been using the 40 pound Eagle fish grips with the built-in scale. If you really want to make an impression, I suggest get the Boga because it handles fish by encompassing the fish's lower jawbone and works on most fish species. The Boga grip features an easy one hand operation and will accurately weigh the fish. The Boga grip is also very saltwater resistant. Boga offers three different sizes, ranging from the 15 pound, the 30 pound, and the whopping 60 pound. Number five, Corker boots. This one here is for people that love to fish rocks and jetties without the right footwear. I don't know how many times I've been out there fishing at the jetty and not a single person has a pair of decent cleated boots. They probably don't have a will either, you know, because if you slip at the jetty, you can die, literally. 
I've seen people fall into the cracks of the jetty, people slip and slam their heads on the rocks. I've seen people slip and fall into the water also. A nice pair of corker boots can prevent all of this. Corkers.com offers a wide range of boots to fit most people's budget. Make sure to get the spike soles though, and also remember, depending on which state, fail soles are actually banned in certain areas. Number 4. The Swell Pro Dronar The Swell Pro Dronar is a tool I didn't know I needed. Many times I was able to wonder how deep a body of water is. With the Swell Pro Dronar, I was able to discover depths of almost all the bodies of water I fish. The Swell Pro Dronar also helps you by finding fish, depth contours, and the water temperature. The Dronar is pretty easy to use. Download the app, attach it to your line, cast it out, and slowly reel it in. Number 3. Conventional Reels and Bait Casters This here is one of the best gifts to give somebody. There are many reels out there one can get, so I'm going to dive into two sections. Conventional and Bait Caster. So for conventional, my favorite conventional reel for surf casting or any type of fishing that requires a conventional reel is the Avid SX. They are small, powerful and have a ton of line capacity for a small compact reel and they're also made in the US. The Avid SX can catch any giant freshwater fish in my opinion and can also catch a lot of inshore fish including sharks over 5 feet. I've actually caught numerous sharks in a 6 foot range with a small Avid SX that I either cast out at the jetties at the pier or I flew out about 200 yards with a drone. There's also a mag version for those like to cast long and hard. I have a three SXs, I have one that I drone out, I have, and I have two that I cast out. A good budget option is also one of my favorite reels ever made, the Daiwa Sealine SHA. The Daiwa Sealine SHA comes in various sizes from the smallest being the size 20 to the largest being the 50. This reel has great drag, a ton of line capacity. Now, in regards to bait casters, you can't go wrong with the Shimano Corrado DC or a Shimano Cronarc. I don't have much on the bait caster section of this. I don't usually fish with bait casters. I mainly fish for bigger fish. Uh, I'm casting bait. And when I am fishing with lures, I'm using big spinning reels like my Van Stahl, the VR175. I actually, the only other bait caster that I use is the Shimano Tranks 400, 401. And I use that for jacks and res at the jetty. So I, I mean, it's a bait caster, but it's not really one that you normally would use because it's so big. Number two, spinning reels. Spinning reels are the most popular type of fishing reels everybody wants. I'm going to divide this into three sections. The surf spinning reel first, all right? I've been using the Okuma Rockaway Surf and the Okuma 8K Surf, both of which have been the workhorses for me. I've been able to land multiple fish over 30 pounds. One of the best parts about this is they are also budget friendly and both under $130. They feel good and they have a ton of drag and are priced just right. Now, for inshore fishing or even bass fishing, I really like the Shimano Stratic FL. They're light, they look good, and are quality. I have two of these. I have the 2500 FL for small fish and freshwater fish, and I also have the 5000 that I use for bigger fish such as the bull reds, jacks, etc. Another great option is the Shimano Sphero Saltwater. I always recommend this reel to everyone because it is a budget beast for saltwater fishing. This is one of the few reels that is IPX8 rated. And I think this is actually the only reel that is IPX8 rated under $200 also. I would pick this reel over the famous Daiwa BG. I've had the Daiwa BG. I got it when it first came out. I wasn't a fan of it. You know, even though it was $120, I still didn't like it. It felt too plasticky. The clicker sucked. The top, the top clicker was plastic. I didn't like it. You know, I thought it was like kind of, it felt pretty cheap. But then um, once this... Shimano Studios came out, I was like, man, this is real here. Although it's $160, you know, it's definitely $40 more or $50 more than the BG. It's totally worth it. And I always recommend a sealed budget reel because it is sealed enough to prevent water intrusion, which is a must for saltwater fishing. These reels are tanks. They have a ton of drag and they're priced at around $170. No. Now, if you have the money to spend, you can always go for a Van Stall or a Penn Slammer as well. Those are very expensive, both over $300. I have the Van Stall VR175. I mean, it's a status symbol. You can swim with it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. The only thing about the Van Stall, it's not a problem, but it is for a lot of people, is that they're rough. They literally, they're called coffee grinders because when you reel in, it's crunchy, it's loud. The Slammer is cheaper, it's also a little harder to crank, but it's not as loud as the Vanstall. Number 1, the ultimate gift, 
the Swobro Splash Drone 4. This is the ultimate gift for a saltwater angler, even a freshwater, you can, anybody can use this. The Swobro Splash Drone 4 can get your bait way out into the surf, the river, the lake, anywhere. With a 2.5 kilogram capacity, which translates to roughly 5 pounds and a far range, the Swobro Splash Drone 4 is the ultimate surf fishing gadget. The drone is extremely versatile, it can be used for all kinds of modalities. One of my favorite things about the Swopro is that it's completely waterproof. You can submerge it in water without sustaining any water damage or intrusion. This drone is perfect for people that do not have kayaks, are unable to cast out for, have a physical limitation or a disability. The drone also allows you to pinpoint exactly where to drop your bait. There's been many times where the bait placement matters. This drone has helped me achieve that. Here's a good example. There's many times that I've gone out surf fishing and I cast out my baits 30, 40, 50 yards into this first sandbar, second sandbar. Depending if it's a smaller bait, I can get it 100 yards out. Those won't get hit. But if I've out the drone and I decide to fly out a bait 200 yards past a color change, if I'm fishing uh, San Luis Pass and I decide to drop a bait in the middle of the channel, and that will get hit. That line will consistently get hit. And the Swove Pro Splash Drone 4 helps me achieve that. This here is the ultimate Christmas gift. You can use my discount code at urbandrones.com, Beach Bomber Fish, for a great discount. Here's the bonus Hemiway Zebra e bike. I've had my Hemiway Zebra bike for about a few months. Man, does it give me places that I was previously unable to with a top speed of a legal 22 miles per hour and a 400 pound carry capacity you can hook up a small wagon a trailer and tow all your gear to your next harder beach spot the reason i really like this is also because there's a lot of private beaches in galveston sometimes the public beaches are extremely packed there's a lot of anglers people swimming you cast out a bait there's gonna be kids around families and those people are gonna scare away your fish now imagine hooking up to a fish and there's a crowd of people in the water you're going to be on the news and you're going to get <laughs> roasted on the internet. I've seen it happen before. But with the Hemiway, you can load up a uh, cart, a wagon that you can get from Walmart, and uh, rig it somehow to put all your uh, reels, rods, bait, and your tools, and you can go places. It has an 80-mile range. That's extremely far. And uh, this is also good for urban anglers. Uh, sometimes, you know, some limited, some spots are very limited in access. Here in Houston, around the Buffalo Bayou, there's a lot of spots that are really good. You just can't get to them. Especially with carrying a lot of stuff, big baits and big rods. With this bike, you can easily do that. This bike is so efficient, I can quickly get from point A to point B fast. It can also allow you to fish areas that are closed off to cars. Great gift that you can give to your angler is go to my merch store. Beach Mama Fishing, Big Cartel. I have a, a lot of merch on there. Get that merch. Help me support this channel. All the proceeds from that store come back to the channel to help me make elite content. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this list helps you find your next fishing Christmas gift. All right? Thank you for watching, and I hope I was able to help.